First of all, don't be alone. I had braided my hair last night. Um, ooh, it's delighting for me. It, it don't make me look no better, so I don't even know why I'm saying that. But anyway, all the outside do look cute and cozy. Look at it. Almost make me want to go outside, but I don't trust the spiders that much. But anyway, um, it's a lot that's been happening, you know what I'm saying? And I really ain't shit, so I'm just letting you know now that's just how I know where I stand. So, I don't even know. I feel like I said this so many times during recording that I don't know where I last left off, but I genuinely don't know where I last left off. I know it's cleaning somewhere, but also I'm doing a bunch of cleaning, but a bunch of ain't finishing nothing. So, right now, like I told you before, we are getting ready to go out of town to the in-laws and stuff like that. So, we are trying to pack and clean and put stuff away at the same time. Um, I don't even think I fully really showed y'all where we are in our decoration. I might as well show y'all because like, we're gonna have to come back and still complete it because there's still a lot to do. So let me just kind of show you what it's looking like. Bear with me because I'm not done. And the decor. Now, like I said, bear with me because, you know, we're still put stuff away and all that, but I kind of want to show you what stuff is. So. This is what the dining table is looking like so far. I actually love this and we talked about it already, but we'll probably keep it like this year round. This is my vibe. Like, I feel like we're just not very traditional people and the world don't tell me what I need to have and not to have. You see what this says? This is rejoice in the Lord always. That's not only for Christmas, that is year round. Okay, these placemats or whatever is the one that I made for my baby shower with Nala almost darn near two years ago. If not two years ago, it's probably two years ago, yeah. And I never committed to throwing them away. I'm so glad because I love them under here. So I need to take that off. Um, I love them under here. And then we got the little blue fur thing. And I really like this. What do you think? What's Would you mind this being up year round? Good. Yeah, I love it. I do plan on putting like something up here, probably like lights and uh, something. Um, I do plan on doing something with that. <sighs> we usually have like the green light on this tree right here, so I realized that I really did like the tree vibe. I don't know why I be procrastinating about it. I think it's because I'd be afraid of what David thinks, but I just have to stop caring, okay? I just have to do it, because nine times out of 10, he usually like it when I do it. Yeah, so. let's do it. <laughs> I want to really put some like chairs here. By the way, this is half the stuff that we're actually taking with us. And you know how it is when you travel with kids for a long time, you got to take your whole life, okay? But anyway, so this is what the tree is looking like. I feel like each year, you if you get little, little, every year there's gonna be a year that no one can shit on you okay no one can say anything and i was actually pretty surprised how much stuff we have so obviously this is a tree and it's still have, like two containers full of stuff that we didn't use nice yeah so anyway i found our well we've been had it <laughs> our little alcohol carousel thing we've been having we've had this thing since the wedding yeah wedding gift, right? yeah uh, i think we even have it maybe yeah the, it was a wedding gift yeah <laughs> and we never used it i think i used it one to be lying but it's like it was too much too much or whatever but one thing i found out the other day when i put this together i'm putting these other two bottles on here so that's why sorry it's um I had to write, block out what was actually in there because it's kind of stupid. It doesn't like fit any size bottle on it. So I have to like actually get smaller, regular, I guess, size bottle stuff because we used to get our alcohol from like 
when Dixie or we buy the giant bottles or whatever. I said when Dixie, I meant the Sam's Club. <laughs> Sam's Club, and it's just like, you know. So anywho, I had to like retake out stuff just to use this carousel. And one thing I found out the other day, and I don't know if David knows this, but this little part right here, did y'all know this actually means that whatever's in here is a perfect shot? Didn't know that. Yeah, so you press it until it's empty and then you drop it because that's a perfect shot. What's in here? That's why it's in there like that. We should have read the directions. Yeah, we don't even have the directions, but I was looking at something and it said, well, if you pour and once that go down, that's a shot. Well, the more, the more you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, now as you can see here, I am Starbucks ready. Okay, first of all, personally, I don't really like Starbucks that much, but I want to. But my whole case in point is, is that my coffee thing is on fleek. So this is what my bar area is looking like. I don't know how I feel about it, but... I'm probably going to end up just putting this up because I don't really use that thing often. So, only when I'm extremely tired um, and want coffee to be done when I wake up. But the thing is, my this is my favorite coffee. But they don't make this in grounds. So, if they made this in grounds, I would use it more. But I don't. So, and if you know someone or know where I can buy grounds version of this, let me know. But yeah, I have a bo whole bunch of K-Cups that this really here for decorations at this point. And I end up putting my sauces and here's my avocados that I need to eat really soon because they're getting dark. Chocolate milk. Uh, my favorite syrup is French vanilla. So that's what I use the most. Even though I end up buying a lot of these vanilla ones and I, I bought a whole box of the French vanilla one too. But I already went through those. And when I bought these, I thought these were the French vanilla ones. And they wasn't. And I'm like, what am I going to do with these? But I need to drink them. But I like the French vanilla better. So, whatever. I really want to get the sauces so I can start making like frappes and stuff. But this is obviously still pumpkin flavored. That's the vanilla right there anyway. So, yeah, this is what the bar area is looking like as of right now. But there's going to have to be a couple of things I actually pack and take with me because I need coffee. This is another thing I plan on doing. I need to hang these things. So there's going to be obviously more decorate when we come back. So we're getting it together, y'all. Like, we can't do finish doing deep cleaning stuff because, you know, I know I need to wipe down these cabinets and all that stuff. But I just can't. We ain't got time. Looks no. like you wiped the cabinet. Like some of them. Thing. Yeah, some of them I did. But, you know other ones obviously you can tell I didn't but it's we coming together. yeah it's coming together we also need a new kitchen rug that one's tied yeah. and then I end up moving my other stuff here can you fix that this? yeah it stands on its side I've been trying to stand it it always be leaning no push the tab push the, tab. the red tab this? yeah The more you know. So this is gonna be our little like quick service area. This is gonna be like you want to grill something real cute, you know, whatever. You know, waffles in an oven. Huh? <laughs> be like you cook it. Yeah, yeah you yeah. So and it also look better because for some reason, as y'all can see, the little oven thing doesn't really like clean as properly as a light. Y'all see me scrub the inside of this and it still look like water residue. So I kind of like that being off to the side like that because you can't see its dirtiness. I used to hate when it was over here and you just look at this like messy looking thing. This is just the gist of it. That's everything that we're taking with us. But once everything is cleaned, you know, it's going to look great. Yeah, I think I also want to rearrange these pictures. I think we're going to take them down, put reefs up there, and put bat lighting up there too. A garland, I mean. And then... I think I already showed y'all here is the other Christmas tree. I don't have a skirt on it and I really want more pine cones and other stuff to actually put on this. And that's what this little area looking like with Black Santa. These are the napkins that still need to go on top of the table. And this is our little box of Christmas stuff we still got to put out. Um, as far as the front, we have these other little mini Topiary Christmas trees. They do have LED lights. I can light them up too. 
Uh, we used to have two pillows here, but now I feel like we just need more pillows right here. Um, and then we have our Merry Christmas. We always, in the last like couple of years, put um, wreaths on both sides. So we just set this here, it says Merry Christmas. We don't really take it down. We have it honestly there all year. And this is what this front area is looking like. I know this is like an unofficial done type of thing, but this is just the ornaments that I need to put on this tree in this skirt. So that's why it's kind of looking like that. And then I need to fix up these mini trees situation. Um, I just love this little vibe. I told him that I was going to have multiple Christmas trees, and I do. And the bathroom's almost done, but I'm not going to show you that because it's makeup everywhere. So, yeah, that is kind of what's going on right now. Um, we won't have time to really complete none of these decorations at all. We're like 80% done, though. Yeah. So, yeah. So, basically, what's about to happen now, you're just going to end up watching me. I don't know how these vibes is going to cut up as far as the videos go. But I know I've been doing a lot of cleaning, a lot of organizing or whatever, but that's just what's going on right now. So I don't know what part's going to be vlogs, what part's going to be cleaning, but just bear with it. You know, just accept it, embrace a change, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, cleaning is an everyday thing here. Multiple times a day. Multiple times a day. So... Love the hominess. Now David think about not moving. But he only gets like this usually around this time of year because this time of year we have the most decorations and it's the most cozy. That's really why he be feeling like that. No, I never thought about that too. Just said that. Cause you know, I'm the type. I don't care what nobody has to say, come for me. I'm the type, I have tree up year round. I don't care what nobody say. I know you have that one grandma that has a Christmas room that don't never come down. Some people have like a Christmas room where it's just everything in the room. Like the dining room nobody sit in. That's what I just said. Oh. You're not listening to me? <laughs> I thought, I thought you I said, that. I said, you know you got that one grandma who got that Christmas room with the tree that never come down. I ain't hear you say room. David don't be listening to me. I swear. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with these men in 2020. They don't be listening. Anyway. So, if you see my tree up in February, do not be surprised or alarmed. What's the, the longest we've had one up? Year round. That's a little apartment? It, 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 uh, no, that was in the, the other apartment, the last apartment we came out of. Uh -huh. So, we'll see. Because I always wanted to have like different seasons of Christmas trees. So, even if it's not up round, I think I want to play and dabble in... Um, having like seasonal christmas trees like a easter tree a halloween tree you know fourth of july tree like i think that would be dope let me know if you know somebody like that but anyway we got a lot to do so i can't really talk to y'all too much just watch me clean and you know if i don't end it just know i love you guys and i will see you guys in the next one Hear me out, okay? It's a lot just happened. We still here, and I ain't no further than what I was when I last seen you. I know to you, it's like, boom, boom, here we are. No, it's been hours, okay? It's been at least four hours since I last checked in with you guys. And we no further, Pat. Let me show you. You see it? See that thing over there? I know it looked crazy. But you see that? It's definitely empty. You know why? Because we're with parents. And when you're a parent, parent things happen. And you know what just happened? Look at my baby face. I know she looked like she she straight caveman. Listen, she had these breakouts. We was on the verge of going to the pediatric doctor. You smacked me. I mean booty. Dang, she be trying to get 
trying to look around you and stuff? Look at her. Yo, I swear, Noelle can be a meme. I swear, because the stuff she do is hilarious. Look, watch this. If I step in front, this the TV. Watch this. She mad at me. <laughs> look. She trying to look around me. My bad. She looks so funny on this. Hey, now you looking past me too? Okay, so listen, right? She, um... <laughs> She, she, you, yes, 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 I'm talking about you. She end up getting these breakouts, child, that sent me for a loop. I didn't know what was going on. So, as you can see, what's on her skin is Caroline Lotion. And if you don't know about Caroline Lotion, it's, it's a good chance you've never been around somebody who had chicken pox. I'm just letting, I'm just saying. So, I had to put... Caroline lotion on her because she got Noelle. these Noelle. bad butt bites we end up discovering later but she had this like big old thing on her ear then I don't know if you can kind of see through the Caroline lotion but there's actually bumps on her forehead on her cheek on her chin right there her ear on her throat that's why it's a little bit on her throat she don't want me to show y'all, but yeah, she just got it all over her. And we just spent basically the last couple of hours trying to figure out. I end up, y'all see in the other video, the other clip or whatever, but whatever, however you see it, we was outside and playing in the pool. You know, us, the kids, our friends and stuff. And then, next thing you know, so we David tells me to call her and um see if something was wrong with her kid because no one's fine she can you see her she's fine and then she ended up saying that yeah like her kid had it too and they was actually at the pediatric thank god for timing so we was gonna go we end up calling our doctor our, our, our pedi pediatrician yeah pediatrician and then they said no we won't be able to get you done for a week even though they said that they do do uh they do. Why are you yelling? They. <laughs> no well, here, eat. She don't, she do this sometimes, every time I talk. Yeah, give a second. But anyway, so we called the pediatrician. They do do same day appointments, but they closed early two days last week. So because of that, they kind of booked up. So they told us they won't be able to get us in for a whole nother week. So anyway, long story short, thank God that my friend already was at the pediatrician office and they said that her kid had butt bites and our kid was doing the same exact thing. She said the same thing like last night. She noticed a couple of bumps and then this morning her face was swollen and all kind of stuff. So you know, we don't really need to go, or I don't feel that we need to go now. Um, they just said to do some Benadryl and the Caroline lotion should be fine, should go away. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. I'm kind of glad it happened that way because y'all see that we're packing. And we got things to do and we would have to drive 30, 40 minutes out of the way to be there a couple of hours. Then and then we wouldn't know what the wait is because there's no appointments at the urgent care. Yeah, the urgent care didn't open till 4, but all this happened around 2. So we could have been waiting there for hours, mm -hmm. depending on how many people there. Yeah, so I mean it was a blessing in disguise or whatever. So, you know, you see this video, girl. You know, thank you. So now we finally can resume, but I told David that we probably ain't gonna leave until later because you know, there's five, six, seven, eight o'clock traffic here. I like to drive at night or early morning. Anytime it's dark, basically. So I told David we probably won't leave until tonight or early in the morning like we did last time. I think that was superb. Every, well, Nala wasn't asleep, but every, pretty much everybody was like cool in it. And I was in my own world, and I liked that. So if you road trip with me, I'll drive. Just do it at night or early in the morning. I can wake up. Y'all see, I be up real late. 
I am a good driver. During the day, that's what I mean. So anyway, the kids acting crazy. Just wanted to give you an update. You too. Family. Y'all, I'm so upset. Mm -hmm. I'm so upset. Messing up. You too. What kind of day is this? This one. Messing up. <laughs> Look what happened. Bro, something told me don't put this in there last night. This is a bottle I bought last night and I was gonna drink it, but I forgot I had it. I wish I would have known I had it. I forgot. Cause I sure would have drank it last night. Sorry, he was he was not a I should have, man, and, and it was, it was an inkling, that lady, trust your intuition, because something told me don't do it, but I did it, it was because I had that fireball too. <laughs> don't blame it on the fireball. No, but the, the fireballs make sure it feel warm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how I'm going to get this out? We need a YouTube it to see how to get it out. <laughs> Luckily it was cheap, but still, I don't like wasting money. I'm upset. I need a bottle just to get over this bottle. You know how they say, what, broken glass seven years bad luck? Yep, something like that. Is this what this means? Is this what they were talking about? No. Can you <laughs> break it out? We gotta hope not. <laughs> then you might be suffering from parenting. Parenting affects 10 out of 10 mothers and fathers around the world and can lead to extreme debt and loss of self-identity. You may need a fucking break. A fucking break lets you step away from it all. Result 